The objective of this tutorial is so that if you're using an Ubuntu or if you've decided to use Visual Studio on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can follow along capturing and writing data to the console. Same as we did for Visual Studio on Windows. So let's use Visual Studio code to create a similar console application and walk through reading and writing to the console. First, we need to create a folder for our project. In the Ubuntu desktop, select your home directory and open the folder. Next, create a folder in this path or keep all of your source code in one place. We have a folder called source where we keep all of our projects. We're going to navigate to source and create a folder called simple console app, then select create. Next on the simple console app, right click and open in terminal. This will open the terminal window under your path and in the terminal type .NET new console. Next, open Visual Studio Code. Click on the Explorer icon on the left menu and then click Open Folder. And navigate to where we just created our Simple Console app. Notice that we have a project file and program code file. Now that the folder is opened in Visual Studio Code, select program.cs. As you can see, it's the same structure as our other samples. So if we execute and run this project, we'll output hello world. Select debug in the menu bar and then start debugging or use your keyboard and select the F5 function key. Visual Studio Code will automatically create a project for your environment to debug, then select .NET Core. Next, Visual Studio Code will create a .VS Code folder and add to JSON files. These files will have all the necessary info to build and run our application. This is a one-time prompt for new projects and Visual Studio Code will reuse these files for future reference. Now let's start debugging again. Notice now that we have our Hello World printed in the screen. We can also use the terminal to execute our program. Select the terminal menu. Now in the terminal tab, type .NET Run. Notice that we have our Hello World printed in the screen. If you want to capture user information, this will be similar as before. Not going to go through the whole tutorial, but you should be able to follow everything that was done on Windows on Mac. Basically, we're going to show you a subset of what we did on Windows by capturing a user input and outputting the results. Okay, let's run this to see the results in action. Notice there's nothing happening because it's expecting me to type something. So after we enter some text here and hit enter, we'll then echo out the results. That's pretty much it. Everything else in Windows should work in here. 